Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Lorraine Rose and if you're new here, please make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. It means so much. For today's video, we are going to be making over this space in my client's home. We are going to be doing a full pantry makeover. So before we get into it, I'm going to kind of show you what I did for the month of January to prepare for this pantry makeover. Basically what my husband and I did was we went into the space and we measured it out. What we're doing is we are creating floating shelves above that pantry space and that's where we're going to house a lot of her items on. And so basically what we did was we measured out that space and we measured out the depth so how deep we would make the shelves and that way I knew exactly all of the items that I could purchase that would fit nicely onto those shelves. And then I did a bunch of shopping, trying to find the best deals. And these are some of the things that I purchased. Well, all of the things that I purchased for this pantry. I found these wooden crates at Home Depot and I went ahead and I spray painted them matte black. And then from the Talented Kitchen, I got these clip label holders with labels. And look how beautiful these are. I love this company so much. I've worked with them before and I'm going to continue to buy their products because they're such high quality. They're so amazing. They work really well. And one thing I'm going to do as far as prep work goes before we go into that space to make it over is I'm going to get as many things ready beforehand as possible. So I just clipped these labels <laughs> onto the crates and I'm going to wait to actually label them because I'm not sure how or what I'm going to house and everything yet. And then I kind of just set up everything for kind of how I wanted to place it onto the shelves. It's not exact, but just to give me an idea based off of my drawing. And I purchased these woven black baskets off of Amazon. I will link them down below. I love them so much. And then I purchased a tea box for her because she has a lot of tea and I wanted her to be able to have one place to house all of her tea. <laughs> and then I purchased these large glass jars with wood lids from Target. I believe they're 107 ounces so they're pretty big. <laughs> and Target I believe still carries them so yes. She did want glass jars with wood lids so I was happy to find those. And this is also from the same company. These are their pantry labels. I have them in my own home and I love using them in my clients homes as well just because they're so beautiful, they're minimal, they're timeless, and they just look beautiful. <laughs> and these are the other two woven baskets that I purchased along with the wooden spice rack and then next to those on one of the shelves I'm going to house a bunch of glass jars with glass lids but those are actually already at my friend's house right now. She's a client, but she's also my dear friend. <laughs> and this is the wooden spice rack that I purchased for this pantry so she can display some of her spices. She had a lot of spices, so I wanted her to feel like, you know, she can put some of them on display. And I actually have this wooden spice rack myself, and I will be using it in any of my clients' homes in this new year that want to display their spices because I'm obsessed. It's so beautiful. One thing I like to aim for in any makeover that I do is I want the pieces that I'm using to be functional but also decorative. So I always try to keep that in mind. And then this is gonna be like where her coffee station is at, there, where they're gonna have their coffee pot and their toaster. And that round black metal ma basket is where she can house like all of her onions and potatoes and different things like that. And then the rest of this area will kind of be just like a coffee station. But yes, I got this beautiful <laughs> round metal basket for her. I wanted to try to find hanging metal baskets that I can hang on the shelves for her, kind of like her onions and things like that. But I was having a hard time finding ones that I loved. And when I saw this, I thought, no, we're going to just go with this. I love it so much. And this will be her coffee station. So we'll put her coffee in one of these jars and her coffee filters in another. And I'm just giving her this golden spoon. And my husband actually built her that wooden <laughs> stand that her coffee items are just tucked underneath. And then she could put coffee mugs on top for when she goes to host. 
and their existing pantry that's in their kitchen right now I did not spend any of the budget for the pantry on that smaller pantry just because we wanted to focus on the main pantry but I did purchase this white basket for that space so they have a place to house all of their water bottles when they go to host my friend is really wanting to get into hosting in this new year so I just kept that in mind because sometimes hosting especially when you have children can be kind of a lot and overwhelming and you don't really know where to begin so I wanted to get her a few things just to encourage her that like you can do this hosting is so much fun <laughs> so I thought this would be a good little prep thing for her and speaking of hosting I got this basket at a flea market and I wanted to gift it to her for when she hosts so that way she has something to set out if they ever serve food at their home which she did talk about wanting to do and I just went ahead and I purchased some beautiful napkins for her, some beautiful cups and plates. And I'm gonna go ahead and stock up this station for her. That way when she goes to host, she can just grab this basket and she doesn't have to worry about purchasing anything her first go around. I wanted her to feel as prepared as possible. So I'm gonna just go ahead and load this up now. As much prep work as you can do before you go in to make over a space, the more smooth everything will go. I even had my husband and my father-in-law up for a game plan meeting <laughs> before we went just basically talking about what the game plan was what would be the best order to do everything when we got into the space so it's just good to think about those things it helps everything run really smoothly when you get into a space to make it over all right now that is ready to go so beautiful <laughs> and I also purchased these wooden scoop spoons for her to house in some of her jars and I also purchased this beautiful beautiful basket from Joanna Gaines's Target collection of course and will house her cookbooks in that and then she has a broom that she keeps in that pantry and so they wanted something to house their broom on and so I wanted to get something that was a bit more unique. A lot of the things they have to house brooms on are like plastic and really cheapy looking and so I purchased this and that way they can house other things on it like her aprons or her grocery bags or anything like that. And then since she does have a lot of spices, I went ahead and I purchased matching spice jars for her and that was something that she had said her husband wanted. He wanted everything to be matching so I wanted to think about him in this process as, as well. <laughs> And I did order spice labels from that same company <laughs> for these spice jars also. But now, without further ado, let's just get right into this makeover. All right, you guys, so we are here at my friend's house. I'm so excited. <laughs> the first thing that we did was emptied out this space completely. We just took everything that was out on the counters and in the cabinets and the drawers and we put it in her kitchen on her floor and I went through that a little bit later on. <laughs> And that's the first thing that I would recommend to do before you go into makeover a space. Empty the space out completely. That way you have kind of like a blank canvas to work with. And the first thing that we did was we took this door off. I just thought it would look so beautiful since this pantry is gonna be so pretty and such a decorative piece. We don't need a door closing it off from the kitchen to the pantry. And that way they just have easy access and it actually kind of opened up the space a lot more. It made it look a lot bigger. I just thought this would look nice. I don't always recommend removing doors, but we did ask her if that was okay and they were actually on board for that idea. Idea. So we went ahead and did that. All right, this is a wood filler, timber mate wood filler, and we're going to take it and fill in where the the hinges were at. And while the boys worked on that, I went ahead and I emptied out her spice cabinet. I collected all of her spices from around her kitchen and I set them here on the countertop 
in one location and that was the first thing I worked on. I went ahead and I took my new spice jars and I just added all of her spices to these jars and any spices that were expired I went ahead and threw away. I did make sure it was okay with them before I did that but that is one thing when you go to make over a pantry space don't feel like you can't throw away any expired spices or food. That's something that you don't necessarily need your clients <laughs> <laughs> permission on but for me I just I wanted to ask their permission but don't feel like you need to do that and then after I filled the spice jars I went ahead and I labeled them and I just love how they turned out it is so beautiful when they were done putting the putty on the door frame they went ahead and they put in a new light fixture. Now originally we wanted to get this beautiful light fixture that we found at Ikea but they were completely out of stock which has been kind of a problem right now with Ikea. A lot of things are out of stock so that's a bit unfortunate but her husband actually picked out this new light fixture which I was really impressed. I mean I thought he did a great job. It's beautiful, it's minimal, it's timeless, it's modern and I just think that anytime you're able to change out a light fixture, even if it's a smaller light fixture like this one, it does make such a big impact. So I was very pleased with this. <laughs> <laughs> And here are all of these spices in their jars. And then with all of the extra spice jars that I had left over, I went ahead and I just put labels on these already of spices that I feel like are pretty common in homes. That way when she goes to buy new spices, she can just look at the jars, the empty jars, and go ahead and fill them since I already went ahead and labeled them. And then this cabinet, I did go ahead and just empty it. And then I took my homemade disinfecting wipes and I wiped down the inside of this cabinet. And I will link the video down below showing you guys how to make these yourself. They just make cleaning so much easier because instead of having to get a rag and then get it wet or get a bucket with warm water and then get an all-purpose spray, you have everything all in one jar. And these rags work so well. So I went ahead and I just wiped down the inside of her cabinet and I did go ahead and wipe down the outside of her cabinet as well. And then I just took my wooden spice rack and I housed all of these spices that I knew I wanted to be on here on this spice rack for the new pantry. That way any of the remaining spices that were left over I could just house back into her cabinet space. So once that was done I went ahead and I put all of her extra spices on the bottom shelf of her cabinet and then all of the empty spice jars that I went ahead and labeled I put that on the middle cabinet shelf and I put her remaining spice labels next to it that way if she ever needs to switch out labels she can do so And then the top shelf is just empty. And now I'm gonna go ahead and fill my canisters with the food. <laughs> and I'll go ahead and place the wooden scoops in the canisters as I'm filling them as well. And I'm going to wait until all of the jars are filled before I label them, just because I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna be placing in every single jar quite yet. I have to go through her existing pantry first and just kind of see what she has. And these are the glass jars that we got from Ikea. We bought some smaller ones and some larger ones for pasta. And this is her current pantry in her kitchen. So basically what I did was I emptied it out completely and I put everything into different sections. That way when I went to go fill my jars, it was easy to kind of 
go through everything and see what needed to be put in a jar. And then any of the excess food that we had after we filled up all the jars, I just went ahead and I organized back into her baskets that she already had in this pantry. And this pantry will probably do like later on down the road if she wants me to. We can go ahead and buy new organizing bins for this and just reorganize this pantry. But for now we were just focusing on the main pantry space. This is a two by 12 board that we cut down the size for this pantry. And And as I filled up all of the jars, I went ahead and I made little labels for them. That way I knew what was in each jar when I went to go put the real labels on them. So now that all of the jars are filled, I'm going to go ahead and label them. And then once my husband was done hanging the shelves, I had him hang up my broom holder. <laughs> and I just love the way this turned out. It really is like a decorative piece and not just something to hang your broom and your mop up on, which I love because like I said in the beginning, whenever I go to style a place, I not only want my items to be functional, but I want them to be beautiful and serve as decor moments as well. this time all of my jars were labeled and so basically what I did when I was done with that was I went ahead and I sweeped out her existing pantry. I put her little water basket on the floor there and then I reorganized all of her remaining food items back into their baskets into her pantry and like I said maybe a little bit later down the road if she wants me to we can buy new baskets for this, new labels, and we can kind of organize this a bit better. But like I said, we are not focusing on this pantry. This is just her overflow pantry. We're focusing on the main pantry today. Now that everything is in their proper canisters, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe down this countertop area. I also wiped down her drawers and her cabinets. And now we are ready for the fun part. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and style these shelves now.
pantry. Oh, <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> this is awesome. Wait, wait, pretty. That is gorgeous. Wow. I love it. Really? Oh my god. Oh, come on. I'm so glad. Oh my god. This is, this is literally better than anything. Like, you're a lion. Good. What'd you say, Lion?